Hey guys, my name's Quentin. Today I'm showing you how to install the new hubcap on your Toyota or Scion vehicle. If your old one has a crack like, um, like this one that I'm going to remove to replace it, there's a big crack right there. Mama, can you point your phone towards it? There's the crack right there. And I'm going to show you how to pull it off. Here are a couple tools that you need. A pair of gloves and a screwdriver. Look for the size of your wheel, um, your wheel cover or hubcap if it's if it's a 15 or 16 inch. Insert the screwdriver, if it's flat headed, between the spoke and the hub, away from the crack, and then carefully pull it towards you, and carefully remove the old hubcap. And then make sure that the valve stem opening is showing in the opening. If your hubcap is way too loose on your Toyota or Scion vehicle, sometimes you have to lower the retention ring. If you want it to like not fall off uh, forever, some hubcaps are come with lower retention rings, but not this one, I don't think. So, make sure that the valve stem is showing in the opening, and make sure that the valve stem is poking out in case if you have a flat tire or something. Firmly push on the center of the hubcap. Give it a shove until the clips snap. Whoops. Decided. Thanks for helping me. Snug. Ooh. Is it lined up so? Here, let me come on the other side. Got it, Mama. <laughs> there. Well, that's certainly not going anywhere. Okay. Sorry, um, sorry it took me so long, but that's how you install your new hubcap on your Toyota or Scion vehicle. <sighs> By the way, this is not our Toyota vehicle, but we installed the new hubcap 
on my aunt's 2010 Toyota Camry LE. Um, hers is a four cylinder and her and her Toyota Camry starts up pretty good. Okay, I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe and always take care, everyone. Peace out. Bye.